it's becoming apparent that many vocational fleets could use a bit more centralization and management than they've typically seen, and that opens a world of opportunities. I think there's a great opportunity, by the way, in vocational fleets. I think those have been traditionally decentralized. Some of the oil gas guys, they're, um, they're more on that, that deal, but I think they're, they need probably a little bit more fleet management involvement than they've been able to kind of do their own thing, and I think that, that day may be. Changing. Yeah, well, they're kind of like the cowboys. Do yes, cowboys, yes, right? yes. But how many times, Janice, do you have the boom and bust cycle when finally somebody says, you know what, we may not get to the good years, but we're going to get some, you know, pretty good years. So when does some of this good nuts and bolts fleet management stick? And they say, all right, I can't let everybody in these hinterlands do what they want. I do have to really uh, have a fleet policy that more and more people comply. Mm -hmm. Centralization might be a bad word, but I think it's something that I think that the uh, yeah. that that's an opportunity.